Okay, so basically today we're gonna to show you how to use uh, our micro blue bag. So first of all, you gotta turn it on by pressing maybe about one, two, three, four, five, about five seconds. Then it's on. So if you want a backlight, so you just gotta press one time here. And then you just press this button here to choose whatever you need that you want for your vacuuming. So we have Tor, Pascal, Medibar, Microns, and then if you want that you need to be used, you just stop where you want it. Like here. And yeah. okay, so in order to connect your micro blue bag to a phone, so basically if you see there's a blinking Bluetooth icon here, it means it's trying to look for the device to connect. So all you need to do is just download the apps called Blue Bag from any app store or play store. And then just go to Gauge Manager. And then once the icon appears here, so you just press the connect button. And then Yep, so you're connected. So all you gotta do is go back to home and then there you have it. That's how for you that's how you use the blue bag. So. Hello everybody, today we'll be talking about micro blue bag and how to use it. So come over here really quick, I'll show you how to use it. Okay. Okay, so what you need to do is you gotta turn on your blue bag. And when it's you didn't on, turn on at all. Turn on so now that it's on. So you gotta hook it with a shiver arm once you're working on. So currently what we are doing right now is we want to test the performance of our vacuum pump. How low can it go? According to the data sheet here, it says this one can go up to 30 microns, the ultimate mic the ultimate vacuum. So let's test whether our vacuum pump can reach until that amount or not. So let's turn on that. So after a few seconds, you can see from the gauge here, our vacuum pump is already reading up to 15 microns, and it keep on dropping. And at the same time, if you can see from the vacuum pump oil reference level also, they are in adequate amount, and it's in crystal clear um, solution, meaning there is no contamination happening yet. Okay, so after a while, this is the very lowest micron level that this pump can reach. So you can say that this pump can pull down up to 11 microns. So now, you stop the test for the vacuum pump, and you're ready to use it. That's it! Everybody, today I'll be showing you how to use your Bluebird application, whether from your smartphone or iPhone. So let's go. So if you look at your left hand side here, you can see we have Home, Gauge Manager, Report, with Sweet, Top, and Above. If you go to Home, you can see this is the, uh, exactly the same screen that you can see from your gauge. So you can either see from gauge versions or graph versions, whichever you prefer. And if you go to Gauge Manager, it's actually the one that the unit that you're connecting to, to so as you can see here previously we connected these apps with the blue Vat pro as well as the blue Vat micro so either one if you have any you can just press connect button here and then you'll be connected to the gauge immediately and if we go to records If you go to records, you should be have like any of the sample records that you did previously. Now, before you start to use the gauge, what you need to do is you go to the left, right hand side, and you go to the setting. So, what you really want to do is you start off by selecting your system type, whether it's conflict cooling, mean new installation, service, churning refrigeration, ultra low temp, or transport refrigeration. So, you just click any of this. And if you can see here, the evacuation indicator target, they give you like a pre-selected target, but you can alter it around depending on how comfortable you are with the target that you have. So then you can choose um, the time below evacuation target. 
we recommend it for you to make it slightly longer a bit so that you can like, make sure that everything is perfectly free from any leakage or any moisture and then of course but if it's a very new unit then you can maintain it to be 10 minutes so once everything is settled you can just press the right button here and then there you have it then you can actually start to use your wrecking gauge already